Hello everyone and welcome to the second day of Duel Links KC Cup Grinding Struggles. So the deck still stays the same as you can see on the screen. I did some grinding, grinding in between episodes as you can see. I had a pretty decent win streak. So yeah, we're at the level 14. And we will see if we can go even further beyond. Like I mentioned in the f previous episode, the Buster Blader deck has pretty decent matchups if everything goes right. I played one match against Desperado. And that was very unfortunate since they, since Desperado starts playing some Ally of Justice cards. Ah, oh, crap, baskets. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Okay, so I'll go with like this. I'll summon Sage. Search out Wealth. Uh, and pass. Since if he attacks me, I'll be able... To summon Veil. And giving me some. And giving me some protection. Okay, so he's going for the Mayakashis. Mm, so that's going to be a very big monster. Okay, so you know what? I'm going to activate DNA Surgery and call Dragon. What are you going to do about this? I... F I wonder. Okay, so there's a Shironui Spectral Sword being sent to the grave. Which is fine. I don't mind. And if I remember correctly, all the Mayakashi 2, Mayakashi Synchros are generic. They don't require a non-tuner zombie monster or a zombie tuner. So this is going to be a bit of a struggle. Okay, so he's here's Tengu. The winged Mayakashi. And here goes the graceful Mayakashi, Yoko. And Daki is revived. Okay, so he's going to battle. Okay, he did exactly what I wanted him to do. Because now we can just summon Veil. And get some defenses going. I don't need to use the, the skill. Mm. Oh yes! Fuck yes! Give this to me! Give this to me! You know I want it! Give it! Give it now! With this, I fusion summon Buster Blader the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. I synchro summon Armares the Keeper of Boundaries. That top deck. That top deck was perfect. Mwah! That was exactly the thing that the doctor ordered. And you're going to be hit. And now Armadis for game. <laughs> Perfection. That was perfect. I didn't have a need to activate the skill. I didn't need any light monsters. Another whelp or uh, another or another sage wouldn't do anything. I needed Buster Blader. So that's what I did. <laughs> I threw into it. Which is fine. Which is fine. It was it was good. Okay, so what you I hate cyber dragons. Mostly due to the fact that my deck needs 
and okay let's see what we've got here okay we've got nothing so he's probably going to go this route okay there's a cybernetic fusion support he's probably going to use it now or we'll save it for later when he can OTK. Oh, there's the Overload Fusion. That is completely and utterly fine. There's a Chimera Attack Rampage Dragon. Rampage Dragon's effect. Sends Pia and original Cyber Dragon to the graveyard. Set probably will set a card. No. Okay, then I'm golden. Um, I activate Kytroid. Have I mentioned activating Kytroid yet? Is he going? If he's going for the first attack, okay, that's that's perfect. That's perfect since now we can activate Battling Box Veiler, Veil, I mean, to gain those life points back, and everything is as it should be. You have, I know you have cybernetic fusion support. I don't know if you have cyber fusion. If he had it, he would have activated it earlier. Okay, so we need a draw sense light. So here is Welp. Welp is activating his effect to give us a fusion and now we will synchro summon armadis it's always good to have an armadis armadis is decent in this matchup for two reasons one is that it's stronger than rampage dragon and second it's his effect your opponent can't activate cards or effect when armadis is attacked or is attacking Meaning that he will have to, he will have to. Oh my. He'll have to summon Cyber, Cyber Twin Dragon. Because Rampage won't cut it. Armadius is too strong. Okay, one, two, and there's the Cyber Twin Dragon. And this is our loss. Since, yeah, he has five attacks, I lose. I'm going to surrender, I'm not going to keep it so... I keep dueling since we... But I want to have as many duels during those episodes as humanly possible. And letting my opponent just combo off into God knows what is counterproductive to that thinking. Okay, let's see what you've got for me, you bell. I'm expecting some Phoenix shenanigans. Oh. Oh, okay. Thunder Dragons. Interesting. I wonder what your skill could be. It might be the allure one, since there are dragons, uh, since thunder dragons are dark, and you can draw cards. And okay, okay, this is fine. This is completely fine. I draw. I summon whelp. I activate Welp's effect. I don't activate the card. I will now set three cards face down. And pass. Your move. What you gonna do? 
Show me. Show it to me. Okay, so Dragon Rolls effect activates. So he can add a side of a Thunder Dragon that is banished. So he's probably going to add Dragon Hawk. Hawk, what is his effect? He is going to summon a Thunder Dragon. Okay, that is fine. Okay, so Dragon Hawk's effect activates. Uh, does it bounce or anything? So, okay. So nothing happens. That is completely and utterly fine. Oh, there's the betrayer. Chaos betrayer. You're going to rank six or are you going to attack? You've got a game on board. Okay, so that's the... F there's the full-on strike bouncer. <sighs> Shame. I really like this card. It's one of the better rank 6 XCs in the game altogether. Be it DCG or dual links. However, this can happen. And this Photon Strike Bouncer is no more. I fusion summon. Mimi Big Boy. So let's draw. Ooh, Mausoleum of the White. So I'll just summon another Whelp. Use Whelp's effect to revive a Buster Blader. And Synchro Summon Stardust. Just because Raigeki Break is a thing. Go! Stardust Dragon! Oh, it's just Temperance. Okay, no nothing important. Okay. So we're using Chart of the Light Brigade to add a raid into your hand. Okay, that 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 that, that is completely fine. Okay, Chaos Betrayer. You can manage one light on a dark. Special summon this card in defense position. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Dragon Roar will activate its effect. You can special summon one Thunder Dragon from your deck in defense position, but return it to the hand during the end phase. Which is fine. Do your worst. Huh. M7. Are you going to summon a monster? That is important. Are you going to summon a monster? Hmm. Guess not. Oh well. So, let's just go ahead and attack. Go Buster Blader. And start us for game? Thank you! Most kind of you! Okay, so... It's, it's decent. We're 2-1. Two, two wins and a loss today. I don't think I'll be able to recreate that five win streak from last night. But I'm oh, okay. It's it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, we can D level up. Let's see. Oh shit. I'll place a phase down and pass. Ah, crab baskets. That's the only thing I can do. I have double DNA surgery and double Buster Blader. Only thing I can do was set one of those DNA surgeries. In hopes of him playing Noble Knights, but he's playing fucking Gravekeepers. Or 
Black Wings. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. We have nothing. So he, he won. You won. I, I, I've got nothing. I'm not going to use my precious, precious episode time on you doing Blackwing combos all day. He had like f three or four summons. One of those being the Big Boy Destruction Synchro and probably Sh no, not Shura. The other one. Either Bora or Gale. So there was nothing I could have done. Okay, so you're playing... I have no idea what, but you have balance. Okay, this is fine. Ooh, I drew into fusion. Okay, so I'll just summon Welp, activate its effect to get my hands on another fusion. I'm 90% sure this is going to be a Karma Cut. It's usually Karma Cut. So I'm just going to summon Buster Blader and attack. What you've got for me? Karma Cut? No. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. The other thing that he can do is... I have no idea what he's playing. Oh, Noble Knights! Quaint! Has to play six traps. I think this is the first time I'm actually playing against Noble, Knight, Noble Knights in the KC Cup. Oh, what would I give to have my hands on a DNA surgery right now? Why, oh why, Konami isn't Buster Dragon in this game? Okay. I will choose this. Okay, so I've sent two until Noble Arms are needed once again. And you've been able to add the Gwenifer, Queen of the Noble Arms. She's actually kind of hot. Oh, there's the Raigeki break. So, there goes my Buster Blader. Oh, well. And now he's... Hmm. Just attacking. Fine. Go Veil! He has Merlin in his graveyard, if I was able to see it correctly. Yep, there is. There is a... a we can banish this card from Regera immediately after this effect resolves. Xyz summon. One noble knight Xyz monster. So using Veil at this point in time was the proper play. Since he would have just Xyz summoned her Torigus, equipped everything to it. He had an OTK. What I need here right now... is DNA surgery. Come on! Okay, Welp is also decent. Welp is also nice. Um, since Welp can provide me with defense, I pass. The thing I need is DNA surgery, and I have like 20... 20-something percent chance of, of getting one of those.
Um, 22, I guess. Twenty-two, twenty-three, something like that. That's my rough, est rough estimate. I just calculate this real quick. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're gaining even more life points. Oh, and you win. Yeah, twenty-three percent. My rough estimate was correct, but still, you win. Thank you. Because I got absolutely fucking nothing. I should have actually set the fusion. I would have been able to dodge that destruction. Oh well. Damn it. The good part is that you cannot drop from this D level. Okay, ultimate dragons. Ah, crap baskets. Nothing good. Nothing good. So I will place a phase down and pass. Damn it. It's just like yesterday with the blue eyes duel. I drew into a complete, complete nothing. And I drew into nothing yet again. Your move. At least I got Veil for some needed protection. Oh, so I wonder what he's going to add to his hand. Is it going to be a blue eyes? Okay, he's he's setting his defenses, activating ancient rules. Okay, okay, it's it's fine. It's fine. Are you just going to attack me? Okay, you are just going to attack me, which is fine. Since I can use Veil's effect to just Get back all my life points. You're ending your turn, and now it's my move. I draw. I don't need you. I'll just summon Sage to get another one of you. And I... Will Synchro summon Samsara, Dragon of Rebirth, in defense position. Since when Samsara is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, I can target one monster in either player's graveyard and summon it to my field. Okay, what's she? Wait, ultimate dragon, how does that skill work? It just adds uh, at the beginning of the duel. From turn 3 onwards, by revealing two blue eyes, add one polymerization. Okay. Some sorrow activates its effect and will bring back. Let's bring back Sage. Some for some additional defenses. And that is also important since if I draw Buster Blader, I would have just got ahead and made a synchro play on top of the fusion play. But I didn't draw Buster Blader, damn it. Okay, I'm okay, it's fine. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I am completely fine. I'm playing like three or four of those. Fuck! I'll set the face down and pass. 
He still doesn't know that I'm playing Buster Blader since all he saw was Sage, some Sara, and Welp. Oh, right, he saw Welp, which I searched out of Sage. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Protect me, Kytroid! Thank you, Kytroid. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Finally, damn it! I activate Destruction, Swordsman, and Fusion during my draw phase. I also activate DNA Surgery because I'm a dick like that. Holy fucking god, finally. I Fusion Summon Buster Blader the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman and just reveal that Karma Cut already. I'll summon Whelp, thank you very much. I'll use Whelp's effect to bring back one Buster Blader. And I already used Fusion, so I will just set two cards. And you know what? I'll pass. I don't want to walk into a Karma Cut. And if I do, he'll pro and I want to have my fusion live. Okay, there's a standby phase main. You're going to drop a karma cut on me. Okay, you're not dropping anything. Which is fine. I am fine with all of this. Let's draw. Okay, I drew into Sage. So I'm going to summon him. And his effect will search out my final whelp. He's probably waiting for that karma cut to be used during the battle phase. Which is fair, which is fair. Okay. Let's go and attack this. Monster. Shadow spell. Um, okay. I'll attack this monster. And now, I'll activate this mon- I will attack this monster. And now I will flip Destruction Sword and Fusion. Fusing my Buster Blader and Sage. I will Fusion summon another Buster Blader. And attack into your set monster. Boom! Okay, we still have time for one more duel. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. So what, during this episode, we won. You got six duels during this episode. So this will be the tiebreaker. I just cannot go any bigger when it comes to wins and losses during those episodes, you know? Yesterday it was two and two. Today it's three and three. Okay, let's see if we can D-level up. I guess not. We've got fusion, we've got we've got surgery. Okay, so you've set a card. I'll set two and pass it to you. Okay, there's the gamma effect. To summon Delta, Delta will probably send an Alpha. Oh, powerful rebuff. Interesting. No, you were sending a Gamma. Okay, that's fine. 
beta will search out. Seriously? Oh, jeez. Okay, so research the gamma of your own. So now activate DNA surgery and call dragon. Okay, so that's a cosmic cyclone. Okay, in those 14 cards, I have three buster bladers and one emblem. If I draw into any of this, I am golden. I'll be fine if I draw into any of those. I got four cards. Four out of 15. That's a 26% chance. Well, 27% chance of me winning this one. God damn it, I hate my chances sometimes. Okay, so you're going to exceed summon. How can you exceed summon? What are good rank threes in this game? Currently, there aren't that many. Okay, show me what you've got. If anything, you'll summon number 17 um, Leviathan Dragon. Detach Alpha. Or Giga Brilliant is also fine. Giga Brilliant is one of those interesting monsters. Since it gives any rank free deck act access to Corbeige. Which is a very, very good monster to have access to. Okay, so that's one attack. And that's a second attack. Okay, come on. Come on, 26%? Draw? Okay, okay, that, that is fine. That is also fine. I'll pass my turn. I'll survive this turn as well, which is good. I'll take about 1,500 points of damage. Okay, Giga Brill. Well, 1,800. Why is it going to attack first? Perfect. Veil, protect me! So now you have to attack with Giga Brilliant, and now with Beta. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. 4 and 14. 28 and a half. Draw! Uh, and this is a loss. And the timing could have could have been better because the episode has to end today. So I'll see you everyone tomorrow for more of this. I I guess. See ya. Jacobo signing out. Peace.